Hi everyone, I'm a big fan of uh, Toru's new Dock Builder app and I've seen a few questions in the group about it uh, so I thought maybe do this video to introduce it to you uh, from an end-to-end -end perspective so that we start with nothing and that we end up sending something to a client um, and, and then just explore the different elements that are within it and things that I, I love about it. I've moved all my documents now over to Flowloo uh, and um, it's, it's, it's really well thought out. The process is good, the formatting is good. Um, does it fit every single use case that anyone can ever think of? Probably not, but I bet you it's 98%, 99%. Certainly as far as use cases are concerned, all of mine and other people that I know um, satisfies their use cases. So it's very, very good. Uh, a couple of points just before I start, just to explain that this Flowloo that I am working with to show you the doc app is um, my training one. And it's uh, got rubbish in it. There's no personal data, so I'm not telling any secrets at all. I do have my other Flowloo, which is where I run my business and I do everything that's not going to be get shared. Uh, so just to be clear on that. And, and then number two, because in Flowloo we can choose what kind of interface that we have, we can personalize it. It's, um, it's not all screens may match exactly what you have chosen as your user interface, but it's always in the same kind of area. The buttons might be slightly differently placed, but this, it's going to be the same area. And hopefully you'll be able to follow through. Right, with that, let's dive in. The first thing that we have to do in Flowloo, of course, is to install the app. And um, because it's an add-on. And how we do that is we can either click on more here or we can click on the cog wheel, whatever the cog wheel is for you. And we do that and apps. Here we go. And we go down and there in the add-ons at the end, because it's the latest and it's the newest, is um, docs. So we click on that and the blue button in the top right is all we need to know. And we click install. And then it goes off and does its own thing. And as you can see on the bottom left, I've now got a docs icon. And here is the interface for the um, the documents. As you can see, you've got a couple of invoice templates that are included. And there's a contract um, one that's included as well. So, um, you know, those could be used straight off the bat. OK, you go in and you edit. Um, those and you could create an estimate um, from scratch with this particular example. So um, what I'd like to do is because I've got existing contracts, I don't want to use float loose contracts. Um, I've got my own housekeeping documents. Uh, so I'm going to just take an imaginary one and, and then um, work with that which I think will be the, the most common use case for people who are already up and running in business. So let's go down here in contract. We can change the name, by the way, of these, you know, agreements. It could be contracts, it could be proposals, it could be, you know, whatever you want to do. But um, uh, I've changed this to uh, agreements. Now, what we do is we simply click new template and I want to create my own template, not based on anything. So it's just literally going to be blank. And there we have it. Let's give you a quick overview here. Um, these are content blocks. And when you type in them, you activate, you can have the HTML code, what the formatting is, for example, like that. Um, just the usual kind of things, embed images, you know, that's where you want to put a logo in, a table, links, and text color and text size, etc. Um, these here, are just allowing your handles to allow you to um, change position and order. The three dots here is duplicate, delete, and design. When you click on design, you get these elements on the right. So you can change for the active block, what the font is, the size, the color, background image, and, and if you want borders and you know uh, rounded corners and all that. So there's a lot of great, good, um, stuff in there um, oh, right. and I've come out of that so 
those are our empty blocks um so, and those are the three dots and the x um is about inserting values not just from invoice but from other places and we're going to come to that very shortly so on the right here we have the the panel that gives us settings design and variables so let's give this a description um this let's say this contractor we'll call that you don't have to do this but it's just you know if you have lots it'll be useful if you have several organizations you can make it applicable only to a particular um, organization which is great because you can then brand it differently yeah um but uh, I'm just I've just got one obvious and so um, that's going to be there you've got currency options here as well I'm just going to keep them switched off because it's a proposal so it's not going to be money and it's only it's a contract so there's no um, money involved cool right here design we saw that a minute ago and the variables this is in general but when you have a, a block that's active then it'll apply to the active block and then here's where the magic happens the variables and look at them all right i'll just move this out of the way um back, move back down there um you have essentially everything that's in your um flu okay that's this relevant yeah and um it includes your custom fields so any custom fields that you've created um, that they can be included and so what they are is the little lines of code that you click on when you find the one you want and then it's copied to the clipboard and then you can paste it into the document and you're going to see that in a minute and that then means that whenever you create a document for any project for any client um, for any product um, the variable applicable to all of those conditions will be what's inserted so that's brilliant because then it really does just mean you set this up it's one and done and and you're off okay but you are going to see the end-to-end -end process in this video so let's keep going now um if we go back to settings something really really important and i miss it um a few times and then I, you know kick myself because <laughs> i know better and it's this button here active we want this one to be active because if it's not active, it won't be displayed as an option to send a document. It's not considered a live document. So um, this is where you tell Flowlu, I want to see this when I'm sending and creating a document. Because at the moment we're just creating a template. We're not creating a document, we're creating a template. Um, and again, you'll see how all that works shortly. But this is the thing. Oh, I should show you the three dots. Let's just copy this template or delete this template. So this is the magic though, the docx import. I think most people who have already got their own businesses up and running um, will have some kind of library of documents. It may just be one or two. It could be 20 or 25. Um, this is uh, such a time saver um, just to, you know, get all the raw, documentation content into your template so that's what i'm going to do and actually just to show you this is what it is it's a, it's a 10 page document um that i bought ages ago and i've never used it so um we're, we're just going to use this as an example okay and here you can see there are spaces for variables and I, I like to put my variables at the front of a document anyway, because then I can see quickly, Rhea, that's right, that's right. Yeah, click, off you go and send it. Um, however, you know, be aware that if you put variables further on and embed, you're going to have to go through the whole document. So that's what we're going to pull in. I'll just close that off. And we're going to hit dot import. And there is there. And boom. <laughs> You see how quick that was? It's a 10 page document and now it's just in, right? There are our, our blank ones that, that were, you know, when you start from scratch, they're there. We can just delete these out. <clears throat> so now we have simply got this, okay? Now, we, it is now a formatting exercise. So, you know, I don't want that to be. 
boom, 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 boom. And this will be hidden too. And so on. And then you can start just making it your own. It looks really great. I love the color that they've chosen. That is this is off black thing. Um, and then you want to put your logo in. So um, let me just uh, go and find my stash of current logos. Um, left and nine, bang. Put it in there. <clears throat> Make it smaller. So as you can see, this, you know, we're, it's, we've saved a lot of time in getting it in. Um, and then we just spend some time formatting it. But the content is there, right? Content is there. So what shall we make that heading through just for laughs and giggles? There we go. You see? So we're now making sense of it. But what we have to do now is we've got these underlines. These are where the variables are. So let's work on this. Because this is where the, the magic is, you know, and the time save. And we're going to click on the right up at the variables here. And what we wanted to do here is effective of, so this is for a project, so I want the start date, right? The project start date. So I'm going to type in start, right? And I'm going to click on that. Um, boom, boom, boom. And just put that there. And, oh, and just for ease of us seeing it, so I'm going to, make this a uh, bright pink so it stands out okay like so um and then by and to revert and our principal address and we want now to find the um account name so name bum, bum, bum. So the search feature is really good because if we've got lots of um, documents, um, uh, sorry, custom fields and things like that, then you really want to have that um, search function to save time. Right, now we're going to have the billing address, um, which is here, copied. Um, look at that. Got to love this. And having an email address up there, oh, no point me highlighting it yet. Um, take that one. Oh, I'm forgetting to make it all pink, haven't it? Dear, 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 Neil. All right. Oh. Of course, you don't have to do this bit, but there you go. And having uh, an email address and a telephone number. So let's telephone. No, there won't be because it's phone, isn't it? Yep. Um, account phone. There we are. Okay. Oh. Right. So we're now done with that. Okay, now, like I say, you would think about all your variables that you want and have that um, available and ready and what, and have that available and ready. Sorry, I pressed the pause button and I didn't mean to. Uh, I was trying to get it out of the way because I wanted to, you know, you can put a signature block in here. I think it's hilarious. Your signature blocks for that, that's all very, very good. So we're essentially, that's, that's us done with this template, obviously spend more time um, formatting it, getting it consistent, uh, whatever your house rules are, making sure that it's consistent across all the documents. The last thing you want is the customer to think, who is this? I've never heard, seen this before. Um, but that's us now done it. And so we can go back to here and you'll see the little preview now when I I'll just click refresh. Um, you'll see there it is. You know, it's updated. Um, it's got the logo and that's grand. We've now created our document. Hurrah. And that was 
quite painless. Um, you've got to think about variables, uh, use the search box and make sure it's active, right? And you know, another way that you know it's active, you get this blue tick. So when I want to create a document, I should see contract and agreements. Yeah. Okay. So let's go do that. And uh, this scenario is all about um, uh, a lead that I've just converted into a project and we we're wanting to do some SEO for Ralph Lauren. I told you it's, it's all rubbish data in here. Um, and we're going to have Rachel Green. You might remember her from Friends. And she's going to be working with us on a project. So we go to the project. And we have our data in here. It's all very basic, but it's all there. And in the top right, and you'll get this in all the modules, there'll be a document button. Yep. And so, well, the relevant ones, so things like opportunities and all that good stuff. There's now a document button. And we click on that. So there's invoice, yeah, estimate. But then there's agreements. And remember we said we should see contract and agreements. Oh, that's what we're seeing. So now... When I click this, we're going to create a document using the template we've just built, but the variables applicable to this project should be inserted where the pink um, uh, variables were, right? So let's just do that. And look at that. <laughs> Isn't that marvelous? So this master independent is entered into an effective as of 2024 20, one 15 so uh, that's the format and it's chosen uh, it's ralph loren having principal place uh, business at famous street new york united states oh i mustn't have done that in pink apologies for that having an email address of rachel green at ralph loren and a telephone number of both that is now ready to go obviously you proof it you know and make sure it's all there blah 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 boom blah, boom blah, blah. yeah uh, you'd spend more time than me, obviously. Um, you can add, and this is where you do the send. This is like you know, the finance module and you send an invoice out. You then have where it's going to go. You can add more people to it. What the template is, the document, there's a whole bunch of things that we can um, set in here as part of it all because it's in there. Um, and then here we can open it in a new tab external link and the three dots is download a pdf of the document uh print it and then if you're happy with it you hit the send button right i'm not going to send it because it's a fake email address <laughs> it's just going to print um but yes uh that's how the doc works it's great and then of course when you go to um your project you'll see that an agreement has been set up it's here and actually maybe you don't want to call it um that we just want to contract or yeah like so see so it's updated and boom boom is document number contractor so you can do your own uh, yeah this is what i mean it's, it's, it's really well thought out and and then there's a whole process with it's been sent and you can see what's happening with it so that's how you do it and it's really really quick um I'm, i've spent a bit of time talking about it i mean that's roughly 20 minutes uh, but um yeah it's really really good so i i recommend everybody at least installs it and has a play with it and um I, seriously you know like i say every single one of, i've got about 14 15 different kinds of um proposal formats and contract uh, statement of work master services agreement all that kind of stuff there's probably 14 or 15 of them they're all in now they're full of variables you think about it once you don't have to think about it again if you do need to think and say oh yeah i need to change that well you go into docs you go into your templates you click and you edit it point to note is it doesn't apply the edit retrospectively it's only for future ones which makes complete sense um but just bear that in mind 
the old ones will remain unedited to all the next ones you generate from templates will use the, the updated version and then if we go just to finish off we can go to documents now because we were in templates we can go to documents and we can see that we've created for Ralph Lauren this document and we can go straight here and look at all the contracts so if there's 20 projects that all the things have gone out we'd see them listed here so there's two ways of looking at it just as a list of documents or you can go into each project and you can see what documents have been sent out and actually just I should really just close the loop completely and uh, let's go back to apps because of course you can set permissions and you can have the rules and permissions, user access settings, and, and the description, that's just the same as it was when we um, started up. So again, you, you may not want everybody to have access to it um, or restrict what they can do with it. So again, it's all been thought through um, very well. Happy to answer any questions that you've got arising out of this and um, I'll be happy to help. Uh, I think it's great and uh, another great app to expand all the brilliant stuff that Flowloop can already do. So uh, with that, I'll leave you and uh, all the best. Cheers.